Hey, this is Max Katz with Apri.io. Uh, we just published a new app example that shows how to um, work with user registration, user login, and also how to manage session. And it's actually an example that um, you can base a new app on the example. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up um, this example, and it's, and it's really fast. So to start, we're going to click Create New App, and then you want to switch to from examples. So this is where the um, ready to run examples are available. And then this is the new example, login registration example. And we'll give this a name, my login app, and click create. So um, in this new app, you get everything uh, from that example automatically. For example, as you can see, there are three pages. Uh, there are all the services, so everything is sort of um, available. Um, and we can always click test and just kind of launch the first page. All right, so you can see there is a login screen, there is a register screen, um, and here um, it actually um, uh, has a link to set up instructions. All right, and so we need to do just a very basic setup. So because we have a user login, um, so we need a database. So we're going to create a database and just some other minimal setup. Uh, but again, you can find uh, this uh, link from the example or from the Dev Center. All right. So we first need um, the um, database, right? We'll just open the first page here. So let's click database. And let's create a brand new database, my login DB, and click create. Now the users collection is um, available out of the box, so that's in, in every database you get it automatically. Um, but the example also allows you to create, um, sort of view and edit a list of items, um, just to show you how to work with uh, user session. And for that, we need to create a custom collection. And it has to be called stuff. It's just a list of things. Now, the stuff collection has one column, text, and that's the actual item name. And the type is string. All right? And that's sort of all we need to do. Another thing we need to do is we need to change the default ACL. So basically, because we have um, a notion of a user in our app, so when I'm creating a list of items, uh, obviously, only uh, the current user uh, would like to see the available items for him or her. And so when we save items into a database, we need to set a, an ACL. So it's a security for every object that is saved into a database. We would like to set a security. Basically, it means that the current object is owned by the current user. And there is a quick way to do that is that we can automatically say that whenever a new object is created, by default, the creator or the current user is the owner uh, of this object. Okay, And then we save and close. And this is nice because we don't have to do anything else. This is a default. And so again, every item will automatically be owned by the current user. Um, so that's sort of it. The, the other thing we need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to get the database ID. So I'm going to copy the database ID. And let's go back to the app builder. Now there is a database settings file. And so the only thing we need to do is we need to set the ID right here. All right. And that's basically it. Now let's test. So let's first register. And we'll And we're logged in, and then we can um, create uh, any items. So, for example, uh, we'll say T, and then coffee, and then soda. And you can see, so of course, this list only belongs to me. So, we can log out now, and maybe we can register another user. Sarah. And you can see that um, that maybe this user has um, you know what to buy. So bread 
milk. Again, this is just anything can go here. Um, cereal. And then you can of course, delete these items. All right. And then we can log out again. Um, so again, everything is, um, as you can see, everything just works out of the box. There's just really a minimal setup that you need to do. Um, and then you can, of course, open the pages and look at all the look at all the mappings uh, that are again all everything is sort of available out of the box um, let's quickly look at another page that's the where we save items so for example add stuff and we're going to mapping so you can see there is a um, session token is saved into local storage and then it's mapped uh, when you save um, save an item so again it's a, it's a really great great example if you are um, if you are um, if you need to build a login and a registration type functionality into your app and then also has a quick example of how you just you know create items that belong uh, to a user All right so um, give this a try again when you're creating a new app just go uh, from example, do this minimal setup, and you'll be uh, ready to run and experiment. Thanks for watching.